What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back out to the farm and in the shop. Now in the shop today, as you'll see, I pulled in the, my dad's 1974 Case 1070. Now, this is uh, kind of going to be a quick one to diagnose and probably get fixed. But uh, last year when I was rotary motoring with this thing, we were getting quite a bit of fuel down the side of the motor on this side over here and it's coming from up above now if you're not familiar with uh, these motors or these tractors per se they have a return going off the end of the injectors on these uh, most likely that's what is leaking on these now it is an old tractor and there's quite a few other leaks around that we need to address but haven't gotten the time to like for instance, we got some oil leaks here and there, but uh, it is a work in progress with this thing. Uh, we're trying to keep it up and going. It is my dad's number one tractor right now, uh, feeding hay during the winter here. Uh, the past couple years, uh, it's the only one as of right now that has decent lighting on it. It has LEDs on the back and the front here. Uh, it has both bottom incandescence working but uh, that will change in this video I hope if I can get everything ordered in time because Father's Day is coming up and I want to buy the last two lights for him uh, for this tractor so then it's upgraded all the way around uh, but the main concern is uh, addressing the fuel leak that is on this thing I apologize, my brother is mowing the farmyard out here. But anyways, we have done a lot of work with this thing uh, over the past two years. A little bit of history on the tractor. My dad bought it two years ago off of my grandpa's auction, retirement auction. Uh, this was my grandpa's originally. He bought it from an auction in... 1987 so it's been in the family for quite a few years now uh, and we've all spent quite a bit of time behind the wheel of this thing and we want to keep it that way so we're going to address a fuel issue for this uh, time being just before we get started with hay here which will be in a few short days as long as we can get everything squared away with this thing because this is our raking raking tractor and our baling tractor at this point because we have not had time to work on the 7030. The 7030 has a couple issues of itself that it will make its own video. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to tear into this thing even though I've had it just running uh, not long ago now. Now the first thing that needs to come off is the hood or Maybe we can repair things all up in the air filter hole. Uh, there's three thumb screws up here and that will come off nice and easily. I will first look in there to be able to see if I can see where the leak is and whether it's repairable from that little hole. If it's not very feasible, the hood's gonna come off. Uh, there's no way around it. There's no way you can really get up in there and be able to work on anything. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh boy. All right, I've had a peek inside here and it looks like this thing needs a bath. Uh, it definitely looks like a return line is seeping there but I have no idea which one. And it looks like we need to address some uh, oil issues up here at the top. Maybe replace some gaskets because I see off down in the corner over here that there is uh, fresh oil down in there coming off of this valve cover. At least that's what it's uh, appearing to be. So, I think the hood definitely needs to come off. So I think I'll work towards that direction.
All right, everyone, it's the next day and I'm off work now. And I'm going to pull the tractor out and we're gonna power wash the top side of the motor off. Uh, like I said last night, it definitely needs done. Nice and crusty on the top, oily mess. We'll figure out what is needed for this thing and we, my dad, anyways, will run up to Elmer's repair tomorrow and try to get things picked up for this thing to, uh, as what we're needing. First thing that we need to do is uh, put the muffler back on and the dust bowl. So I'm going to do that to keep uh, the most water we can out of things. Well, she's about to get a bath. I'm gonna fill up the power washer and turn on the water and get everything purged out and we'll start blasting away. got off today this is Saturday uh, haven't gotten a very good uh, start here but uh, with me working this morning overtime my dad and mom went to uh, Centralia to grab parts uh, they're on their way back now and I'm gonna get started tearing apart the return lines here and also take the valve covers off
I got the valve covers off as you'll see in the time lapse and I got them over here and cleaned up as you'll see in the time lapse by now. Uh, letting things soak again. I still got some dirt on some things yet to get. Now I'm just letting it soak so then I can get it cleaned up better. But everything's cleaning up very nicely. Uh, next thing I need to do is start getting some of the return lines uh, off and we'll start taking those apart. Uh, my dad got back with uh, parts and got everything here in the box. I don't I haven't went through any of it yet but there's the valve cover gaskets. I'm sure there's rubber sealing washers in here and uh, looks like some clips for the cab another project so we will get everything get everything uh, cleaned up and we'll go from there
Well, I got the return line done and put back on as uh, you've seen in the clip there. Uh, painted the two side panels. Uh, this one is for this side, which we had uh, accidentally put it in the other 1070 that sold in my grandpa's auction. Uh, so it went with it. So this one's from Elmer's repair from a year ago or whatever. Uh, so went ahead and gonna po paint both sides because they're both looking pretty bad. Uh, this one has been repainted before. It used to be on a desert tan uh, or sunset tan, uh, whatever you kind of classify the tan color as. Uh, so it's originally that color. Uh, it was painted on the outside to the power white and of course we're painting it to the power white again so got those done i worked on the muffler uh, that's one cut can to this side of it i will come out uh monday and flip it over and spray paint that side and then once we get to that point of putting it back on we'll have to cycle it through some heat cycles because that's a uh, ceramic paint so it'll look nice when it's all said and done the breather tube or pre-cleaner to air filter box tube is uh almost done i'll need to flip it over and do one last coat on it there's a clamp down in that clamps onto the air filter box to the tube i painted that and of course the clamp that holds the tube down went ahead and painted that uh, we need to get uh, one more thing to be able to do the uh, valve cover gaskets uh, and I need to clean up the breather tube that's one thing that I have not done yet but as far as that I'm gonna call it quits tonight uh, it is almost nine o'clock and it is Saturday night and I got church tomorrow so I'll pick it up on Monday. up everyone and this is the next day uh, dad's down here with me we're uh, working on the door or he is working on the door for this thing trying to stiffen it all back up got her tacked in a couple places and then he's gonna fill in and try to stiffen her up again kind of a weak point of the doors on the 70 series but I'm going to work on getting the valve covers back on, get everything sealed up onto the motor, and uh, get all the mating surfaces cleaned up. So then we can get this thing back together and get the hood back on it and get going on hay maybe.
And next thing that I'm doing is I am acetoning the mating surface. Uh, try to make sure that everything is clean as possible. Uh, just before I stick down the uh, valve cover gaskets, they're cork material. So on the bottom side of where it mates to the actual head, we're going to put some gasket maker, high tack gasket maker that is, and uh, try to make it seal as much as possible. But uh, this was kind of recommended by uh, just a few acres farm, uh, Pete there. Uh, shout out to him. But we're going to use what he kind of does, a method that he kind of uses. this is a good stopping point for this video this is everything that had to do with the motor there's still plenty of video that uh, I need to get through uh, so this is part one uh, be looking for part two I'll be trying to work on uh, this next video pretty quickly here uh, we are started with hay just as an update and I've been on 12 hours this week so I haven't had a lot of time to work on any video so this one's a little bit later so Anyways, if you got to this point in the video, thank you so much. And if you're new here, uh, consider subscribing if you're already not. And for those that are, uh, thank you. And uh, to the recent growth in the channel, thank you all for showing your support. And we'll see you all in the next one.